We were ready for the impact with the earth. We hit the earth just like a car crash, like we expected. And then there was enough wind that we rolled up on our side. So when you're inside the spaceship and it rolls up on your side, that means one person's on the bottom, one's sort of on the wall, and one's hanging from the ceiling. I was the guy hanging from the ceiling. Roman was in the middle. Tom was sort of lying on his back down on the floor. And Tom looked out his window, and there was earth. I mean, dirt in his window and grass. Dirt and grass where, the, where space had been just moments before. Uh, and as soon as the, the rescue technicians, the search and rescue people, started opening up the hatch and the air of the earth started coming in, we could smell the prairie. We, we could smell the, the steppe, the Kazakh steppe, and it smelled of... Um, of, uh, of just uh, wind in the grass. And, and Tom and I both looked at each other uh, and smiled and said, hey, you can smell spring, you can smell the grass. It's very confusing for my body right now uh, for a couple of different reasons. Number one, of course, is just gravity. Without the constant pull down of gravity, your body gets a whole new normal. And my body was quite happy living in space without gravity, a very, um, uh, empowering environment where you can touch the wall and do somersaults, where you can move a refrigerator around with your fingertips and and never worrying about which way was up. Well, all that suddenly changed when our Soyuz slammed back into the Earth and my body is is, uh, is catching up with the change. And so the symptoms are uh, dizziness. Uh, as it's sort of like when you come off a ride at the uh, at the C and E or, or something, and your your inner ear and your eyes are telling you different things. So I have dizziness. Um, also, my body is not really remembered very well how to get the blood back up to my head, and so underneath my clothing, I've been wearing a, a G suit to, to sort of like holding the bottom of a balloon to squeeze the blood up into my head, um, and I haven't held my head up for five months. And so my neck is sore and my back is sore. You know, it's just, it, uh, it feels like I, I played a hard game of rugby yesterday or, or, or played full contact hockey yesterday and I haven't played in a while. My body's just sore and I'm dizzy, but it's, it's getting better measurably by the hour. And uh, I, I was talking to, uh, to my flight surgeon and folks here. It does feel, I think like maybe, and Tom Marshburn, he's my crewmate. He and I are sort of tottering around like two old duffers in an old folks home. Uh, and it, it occurred to me, we just look like, like maybe we're gonna look 30 years from now as we go from the rocking chair to the, uh, to the comfy couch.